For those involved in finding signal interference, locating the signal source can often be difficult and time-consuming. Multipath radiation, where signals repeatedly bounce from one obstruction to the next, can further complicate the process. Adding mobility to direction finding enables more measurements to be collected in a shorter span of time. This helps to mitigate multipath and quickly identifies the location of the interferer. The Anritsu Mobile Interference Hunting System. Interference hunting made easy. The Anritsu Mobile Interference Hunting System is efficient and simple to use. The four components of the system include an Anritsu handheld spectrum analyzer, an off-the-shelf magnet mount omnidirectional antenna with GPS, and a Windows tablet running the Mobile Interference Hunter software. Either the Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating system will work, however, Windows 8 is recommended for its touchscreen capability. The Anritsu Mobile Interference Hunting System is designed to find many types of signals, including low power signals, narrow band or wide band signals, modulated signals, pulsed interference signals, such as radar-like signals that only appear periodically, and signals hidden within LTE uplink transmissions. Before your hunt, use either Google Maps or perform a one-time download of the appropriate OpenStreetMap. Pre-configured maps and instructions for generating custom maps can be found at this Enritsu website. The Mobile Interference Hunting System is easy to set up, easy to use. Most setups can be done in five minutes or less. Settings include Map Source to select online or embedded maps, Voice Prompts directing the driver to the estimated location, Max Hold used to find interferers that show up periodically, including radar type signals, Min Hold used to find interferers buried underneath the intended signal such as inside LTE uplink traffic channels. Squelch control, used to only look at signals above a certain threshold. Sensitivity settings, ranging from dense, urban environments to rural terrain. Under the mode menu, the choice between single or multiple emitters. The multiple emitter setting is often used for cable TV signal leakage. Spectrum clearing, for plotting areas of signal activity above a user settable threshold and full screen spectrum view for better examination and analysis of the spectrum. Begin by mounting your tablet. Then connect the tablet to your spectrum analyzer using the USB cable. Be sure to connect your Omni antenna and GPS antenna to the spectrum analyzer. Boot up both the analyzer and your tablet and then touch Start on the tablet. Note, the Spectrum Analyzer is automatically set into Channel Power Mode. Adjust the settings on your Spectrum Analyzer as needed. Set GPS to On. Adjust Reference Level, RBW, VBW settings. Set Preamp to On. Identify the frequency of the interferer and program the Channel Power setting. In this example, we'll set it to 10 MHz, matching the signal of interest. Save your settings for future use and secure your spectrum analyzer for the drive. It's that simple. Now, let's begin our drive. The power of the Interference Hunter software lies in the sophisticated algorithms it constantly performs. It analyzes measurements and conducts numerous calculations in the background in order to find the most probable location of the interfering signal. During the drive, small colored dots appear on the map showing your path. Each dot is color-coded to the relative power levels measured at each location. Use the plus or minus icons to zoom in and out on the map. Additional features include a spectrum display and a bar graph indicating the instantaneous power level of the interferer. One innovative feature seen above the map is a power versus time and position chart. As you continue your hunt, bars are drawn indicating the signal power level being measured. You can clearly see where the peak levels of interference signals are located. 
Tapping on this chart reveals the position where the highest signal levels are located. Once the software has sufficient data, a gray circle is drawn on the map, indicating the estimated source of the interfering signal. You can then drive to this location and be within walking distance of the source. The system is equipped with innovative features that find unusual interference signals, including signals buried within LTE uplink bands or those that may vary over time. Here we see a 10 MHz wide transmission. By using the min hold feature, LTE uplink signals can be easily removed, leaving only the signal of interest. Periodically, min hold is automatically reset, allowing new power measurements of the interference signal over time. You can also find pulse signals, signals that vary over time, using the max hold feature. With max hold engaged, the interfering signal is only measured when active. This provides an accurate way for the hunting algorithm to follow the pulse signal as it grows in power measured. The max hold feature is automatically reset after each measurement. Easy to set up in less than five minutes. Easy to use for one person operation and easy to target a variety of signals at a wide range of frequencies. It's the perfect solution for automating the interference hunting process. The Anritsu Mobile Interference Hunting System. Interference hunting made easy.